to start out by using um, some Danaville thread here. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to start thread about mid way through. And I'm going to want to put a weed guard on this. And I'm just using a 30 pound monofilament. What I like to do is I like to use my cottering tool. Just going to create a little bump on there. And you can see as I'm pulling that back, that's that's why I like to put that that little bump in there. some of this off here and then I got about where I want and go ahead and use my cottering tool again being careful not to burn my thread I have that positioned in there Let's give that a good whip finish. And let's see, I'm going to use um, some Danville 210 denier. Just gonna go ahead and coat that uh, down just a little bit there. This one here, I'm just gonna hand whip finish. And give it a little bit of head cement. do is I'm going to prepare my rabbit strip tail here. Now this is going to be the tail of the fly. So what I like to do is I like to trim off a little bit of the fuzz on the edge. And go ahead and zip this on back. to a little bit of a V and lay that out of the top.
Okay. And let's go ahead and give that a hand whip finish there. some crystal polish. What I like to do is I like to wrap crystal polish around the thread. Put some silver in there too. over on the underside and we're going to use some uh, white bucktail for the belly of this. I found that by using it sparsely it uh, works out quite well and I'm just going to wrap that in there like so So we have that on there. I'm going to use some pink bucktail. Let's go ahead and give that a little shot of head center down there. Rotating this around and add some of that in there so it doesn't look so uneven. Okay, and let's see, I don't have that. Do the same thing on the other side. Just keep wrapping that down to where it creates a nice little head on there. And as you can see, I am uh, going to leave about that much. The hook eye width of the uh, um, spacing behind the hook eye. So usually what I'll do is I'll just measure with my scissors and kind of just kind of gauge there. A little bit. 
Again, just really tapering this up so it looks really nice. Put a little whip finish in that. I'm just going to go ahead and put some uh, goo on this. Check that there. And that looks pretty good. Um, that's got a good good hard hat on it. And what I like to do is I like to use these these little uh you know, they're just called crafting bug eyes, but uh, I like to use these on my flies. So what I'll do is I will kind of just get a little ballpark where I'm going to want those. And it helps to have the head tapered a little bit so that way your your eyes are, are going to run a little tape around there uh, when you're fishing it. Again, I'm just going to use a little bit of crazy glue. A little bit on the eye. Just hold that for a second. Same thing for the other side. Okay. Line those two up a little bit. And what I'll do is I'll use the clear goo. Uh, let's see. Use the brushable, the clear cure goo brushable. And I like to put that inside the fly there. This is a little thicker. But uh, does the trick. Just hit that with the light. Looks like I got a little bit on the other side there. But okay, I'll do the same thing on the other side. that in there nice fill in that gap and 
and sometimes it works better to do this in layers. You know, just put a little bit in there in your gap and then hit it with the light and do it again. So you build it up around the eyes, on the inside of the eyes. That's, that's my simple little bunny, uh, big eyed bunny eye fly. Sometimes I'll just go in and I'll just trim it up, put a little taper in it. That's all there is to it.